Hello guys and welcome to lesson 4, Limits of Indeterminate Forms. For this video, we are going to learn how to compute the limits of functions with indeterminate forms 0 over 0 and infinity over infinity. And also, we are going to illustrate limits involving the expression sine t over t, 1 minus cos t over t, and e to the power of t minus 1 over t. First, let's try to review some concepts. So, we have already learned how to evaluate the function using our limit loss. So, this is the very basic on how to evaluate the function so directly. So, we have three possible cases. So, the first one Okay, so let's try to focus on this letter B here. So the first one is actually the substitution rule. So we simply substitute A to the function and we get the limit. So for example, we have limit of x squared as x approaches 3. We simply substitute 3 and we will get 9. Next, we have this scenario here b over 0 so take note that b is not 0 so we create or we have a vertical asymptote so for example 1 over x minus 1 as x approaches 1 so if we try to substitute 1 this will give us 1 over 1 minus 1 which is 1 over 0 <laughs> so in this scenario x minus 1 Okay, so the denominator has x minus 1. So if we try to solve this, we try to find the value of x which will make this function undefined, that is x equals 1. Okay, and here x equals 1 this is again a, a line, a vertical line passing through the x-axis at x equals 1. So we are now going to focus on the third scenario. What if our answer, when we try to substitute, we have 0 over 0 or some, some cases infinity over infinity. So we will get indeterminate form. Okay, so for example, this expression here. So if we try to substitute negative 1 to our values of x, this will give us 0 over 0. Okay, so we are going to discuss these three methods. So we have factoring, we have conjugate, we have trigo identities, and lastly, of course, if uh, if nothing works for the factoring, the conjugate, and the trigo identities does not work or do not work, we will use approximation method, or we know this, we already discussed this. This is the table of values. Okay, because again, using the table of values we try to approximate the limit. 